Bro, I got some great news from Turnover Scissors Press. Actually, it's a segment. Actually, I'm watching my good buddy Vince Russo providing some great new YouTube content. But I'm going to take the time to tell you about this. It's an article from the Washington, D.C. Evening Star, January 17th, 1932. Because I know you all like the wrestling history. That's why you're here. And here you go. A scheduled bout, George Calza vs. Alex Aberg, includes a picture of the Siberian wolf Aberg, young-looking, bald, and clean-shaven. This is not the Alex Aberg who wrestled in the decade of the 1900s and the 1910s. Aberg's nickname, the Siberian wolf, may help distinguish him from his namesake in further research. Calza was considered a top star of this era, and the fact that Aberg was matched against him in a prominent bout should be endorsement that this Aberg was certainly no slouch. The photograph is noteworthy because precious newspaper spared space dedicated to the photographic image of somebody certainly helped raise their prestige at a time when photographs were not nearly as common as they are nowadays. This image will almost certainly aid in contrast to images of the other Aberg too. Although I do believe I have found a couple pictures, uh, still pictures, of the first Alex Aberg who wrestled in the 1900s and died, I believe, like 1910 or 1911, uh, and he did look similar. He was bald, you know, kind of younger looking for the time, I suppose, the Whatever that picture was taken, I'm not exactly sure. So there's some wrestling history tidbits and nuggets from about 90 years ago. Your friends turn over scissors press. As always, you can search Amazon for all the turnover scissors press titles. And on YouTube, this you search ECWW Rask for real boss content. See you later.